Hey there, good morning everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prague Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So this is an episode of Playlist. This is a show, I do this once every two weeks, or actually the second week of every month, that's what it meant to say. So we do the new albums purchased at the end of the month, and we do playlist in the middle of the month. So basically what the playlist is, is what albums am I currently listening to that I cycle through? That's basically what it is. Um, I have a 20 album playlist, so I just cycle through those albums from top to bottom and just keep recycling them until I get to a point with any particular album where I think, you know what, I've listened to it enough, it's got to come out. I try not to over listen to albums because then they get this burnout and I don't want to listen to them anymore. I don't want to get that way with my albums anymore. I've got quite a few of them that are on that, but they're all mostly stuff that I listened to uh, decades ago. So I want to try and keep them as fresh as possible. There's no point in burning them out, so I'm not going to. So this week, um, what we uh, the other thing we normally do on this playlist is I talk about the albums that have come out of my playlist and why they came out, and then the ones that are replacing them in the playlist. And then at the end of all this, I'll give you a top five, uh, my top five favorite albums currently at this present time. Sorry. The other thing that I like to do too is to kind of talk about what I'm listening to in when I'm making videos and stuff like, am I going through certain groups? I haven't been doing that the last couple of weeks, but normally I have, I pick out a group and I'll listen through their entire discography. It's usually a group I've never heard before and decided that I'm going to play all of their stuff. I'm going to listen to it while I'm doing my baseball online and then just trying to get a feel for whether I want to purchase any of this stuff or not. Okay, so we're going to get going. First thing we're going to do is talk about the albums that came out of the playlist and why they came out. So basically there was three that came out of my playlist over the last month. The first one that came out was this one, Lark's Tongues and Aspic from King Crimson. Really good album. I did do a look back at a classic rock album on it, a video on it. Um, I've used it in a couple of other videos too, I think. An excellent album. I don't know that it... Um, is made the kind of impact that I thought it might make. Um, I thought it would challenge and probably take my favorite spot on the King Crimson uh, discography because I've been working my way through it, even though I uh, accidentally skipped the fourth album and put this one in thinking it was the fourth album, but once I figured it out, it was already been in there for a while, so I just left it. So the next King Crimson album will, will, will retrogress back to the fourth album. But so of the four King Crimson albums I've listened to to date, um, I, I think this one is close to, yeah, it's probably third right now. It might move up a little bit more. I do like uh, in, in the Wake of Poseidon better than it still yeah, it might change. And of course, in the Court of the Crimson King is still per currently up there at number one spot. I, um, uh, Lizards, I didn't care for much. I just, I didn't warm up to it. I was told initially with it too that it would take time. So it would probably go back in the playlist again at some point, give it another chance. But for now, um, this one is pulled out and is the first of three I pulled out. The second one I pulled out was Neil Young's Harvest. Oh, was it Harvest? No, sorry, my mistake. I grabbed Harvest, but it was Harvest Moon. The reason I pulled Harvest Moon out was because I found it a very sad album. It was making me teary and I didn't really want to do that. So I pulled it out of the playlist for that reason. That's the only reason it came out. So the King Crimson one was in the playlist maybe about five, maybe six months tops. Uh, the Harvest Moon maybe only a couple of three months. And then this one as well, which just came out uh, on my playlist for the week. Um, Saucer Full of Secrets. I like this album a lot. I don't want to burn it out, so I pulled it. It's been on there about five months, pretty close to five months, almost making it there. Some really good stuff on here. Uh, probably my favorite is Corporal Clegg and the opening track, Let There Be More Light, but both these tracks I like quite a bit. Some of the other stuff I do like periodically. I 
I, I get a feel for them other times not so much but very psychedelic album and uh, I think maybe a little bit underrated in the Pink Floyd catalog but definitely an excellent album so I but I did pull it because I was getting to a point where I had some other stuff that I want to put in there and it wasn't doing as well as I had hoped it would so I pulled it in favor of some other stuff so the new stuff that I entered in the first one is this one Alan Parsons project eye in the sky now this was in my playlist at one point a while back and I really didn't warm up to it but I've warmed up to it a lot more over the recent months listening to it here and there um, enough to put it back in the playlist I think this is an album that I'm gonna love eventually really like a lot um, interesting cover on it but there's some stuff in here that I really like I think it's a it's a different type of album than I normally would listen to but a very good one so that one uh, replaced Lark's Tongues and Aspic and then we have two new albums that are brand new from 2024 normally if I get 2024 albums they go right to the top of my waiting list and go in the first opportunity to get and then I go back to placing the older albums uh, into the playlist as it comes up so the first one was Judas Priest Invisible Shield or Invincible Shield sorry I got the deluxe edition because I do like the bonus tracks. There's three bonus tracks on this album. This is a absolute killer album. I, su I suspect this album will go to my number one spot at some point. Kind of very, um, I have that same kind of feeling I had with Chaos and Color from, uh, from Uriah Heep. They don't sound anything alike. They're completely different sounding, but both have a metal sound, of course. This is much more metal. This is a really good album. Lots of really catchy riffs and hooks. And I think Rob Halford sounds fantastic on this album. And this is some of their better stuff. Pretty much all of the tracks and the bonus tracks are good too. So I, I didn't find anything on here that kind of thought was not really something I wanted to hear. So the whole album is good. I like the book cover as well. Um, so I've been reading through this as well. Yeah, just excellent, excellent starts out with the panic attack of course which is the hit the kind of the single that they released it's it's quite good and then it just gets better as it goes along so this one replaced um harvest moon on the uh playlist and the third one that replaced uh, uh saucer full of secrets was um this hawkwind album which is in the search of space time and space in the search of space sorry not time and space just space good album uh, typical uh hawkwind album maybe not quite as heavy as i kind of hoped it would be and of course they've used this cover uh, on it which i don't think is that great of a cover i think there's other stuff that's better but overall this is a good i'm not going to show you the back cover it's probably not appropriate but anyways excellent album um, maybe not quite as good as some of their stuff in the past, but still deserving of some attention. So it's in the playlist now as of today, and we'll see how it does. So what have I been listening to lately? So I've been listening to, um, yeah, very different stuff, uh, mostly some Zeppelin. Um, I've been working my way kind of through the Zeppelin discography a little bit. I don't know why I feel like all of a sudden I feel like I want to listen to this stuff even though a lot of it's kind of burned out. And, of course, uh, IQ is another band that I really love, and I've been kind of... Um, I have this uh, video of them. It's a live video of them in concert, and it's kind of made me want to listen to some of their... Um, uh, the, well, I've got a couple of their new albums that I've been listening to that are uh, getting into... Um, they're in the waiting list for the playlist. Both really good, and just loving it. Wobbler, of course, another band that I like quite a bit that... They're next on the list, waiting list to go into them. They, they would have been in there already if not for these two new albums. But, and uh, of course, the Paul Stanley album, which I used on Look Back at a Classic Rock album uh, last Monday. Uh, been listening to that a bit too. It's such a, such a good album. I forgot how good, I, how much I liked it. And so then now I'm going to give you my top five, currently the top five albums on my playlist. It's, a, it's changed a bit, pretty much dominated by one band, though. I'm sure you will notice that. So 
I'm going to give them to you in reverse order, fifth through first, worst to first, whatever you want to call it. They're all good anyways. This album's really growing on me a lot. Um, this is... Uh, <laughs> can't remember what I was going to say there. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the Tales of Father Robin. Sorry, I drew a blank there. Uh, the Voyages of Eo, Eoa. Eoa, book two, book one. Sorry, this is book one. So uh, this one's been in the playlist maybe about four months, and it's making its way now into the top five. I've been listening to it this week quite a bit. It's really solid stuff, like very yes-like in a lot of ways, and they play all of those older instruments, which really give it that 70-ish prog feel. Um and the storyline, I've been gradually growing on that. Um, some excellent keyboard parts here and, and in, uh, smaller instrumental parts as well. It's an absolute killer album. I'm looking forward to book two, but uh, I've been told book two is not as good, so I don't know. I do own book three, but for some reason I wasn't able to get book two, so I'll have to wait on it a bit. Um, the next... Um, the next album, which is in the fourth spot, is uh, Jethro Tull's Stormwatch. So uh, after being in the playlist now for about seven months, almost eight months, I've decided that it's moving back up again. It's just so good. I just I am having a hard time deciding when to pull it. Um, I think it's probably going to be one of those albums that gets almost to a year but really strong, so it's back up in the top five again in the, in the fourth spot, Stormwatch. Number three on the playlist, which was number one, probably the last playlist I did, uh, Black Sabbath 13. Starting to wear a bit on me, but still such a solid, solid Black Sabbath contribution here by the three of the original four members. Just absolutely love it. It's, it's what you would want from Black Sabbath. It's heavy. It's doomy. Ozzy's voice sounds really good on this. They must have done some work on the video to make it sound that way, but it sounds like Ozzy and just really strong album. I, I think the rifting on here is absolutely one of Iomi's better albums for that. Great album. And, and this one has three, um, well, there's two discs on here. So the second disc, it's kind of like that Yes thing where they have this disc of music plus a second disc with only three songs on it. It's kind of weird. Um, they seem to be doing that a lot lately. But anyways, the second disc is really good as well. Some really solid stuff on that. The top two, both from the same band, already had one in the top five. Now I have a second one here, Heavy Horses. This album is really growing on me. Strong album. Even the, the because uh, this is a deluxe edition, has the... Uh, tracks uh the bat bonus tracks there's like five or six actually i think there's more i think there's like nine bonus tracks on here almost as good as this the original stuff and was recorded at the same time period as this original stuff so this could have been a double album for them if they wanted of course that's not a surprise most people uh, most jethro tulls tall albums recorded enough material for a double album and this one's no exception to his really strong album uh, my favorite bass player, one of my favorite bass players is here again, John Glasscock, excellent album. This is the one that came out just after Songs from the Wood, or did it come out just before? I think it was after, I think it was after, but anyways, such a good album. And then the number one album for a couple weeks now, Jethro Tull's Broadsword and the Beast. This album took a while for me to take off, it was actually took me a long time to really get into this but now that I'm into it I absolutely think it's killer um, just and then it has again the bonus tracks which are also killer but the the original album part just absolutely spectacular I love almost all the tracks on this and it's only getting stronger and it's already been in the playlist now maybe six months or maybe as much as seven months now already just a fantastic album and has a fantastic kind of dwarfish cover here with a um, leprechaunish type character or a goblin type character if you prefer. And then it has these little pictures in the corner. 
of the heads of each member of the band. We'll see them on all four corners. So, so good of an album, you know. The only... And it's beat out some strong Jethro Tull albums. So Jethro Tull has three of my five favorite. You can easily see why this band is one of my favorites. Now, I'm going to say this band is challenging Yes now for that second spot on my list overall. They may end up one day being my favorite band. And I wouldn't be surprised because I can't think of a band with so many great albums. You know, there's lots of bands out there have great albums, but they have a limited amount, like... You know, even Black Sabbath has like seven or eight that I think are just absolutely killer. But these guys got to have double that even, you know. So I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? So anyways, that's my playlist for this month. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you've got some stuff here that you're interested in talking about, because I'd like to add more stuff to my playlist that I don't have. And uh, any recommendations is great. So anyways, I hope to... Um, See you all again throughout, throughout the next week. And uh, uh, this was a great video to do. We're doing one more video for the week. Uh, it'll be the What's New video, which will come out at 8. This will come out at 4 o'clock. So hopefully, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy this and we will see you then. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and all your comments. You can put those in the comment section. So have yourself a good day and a good evening. Take care and goodbye.